Now that it's 2022, you should definitely know what a web browser is. Things like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Apple Safari, Microsoft Edge. You should know that they exist and what their purpose is. Now web browsers have something called tabs. You should also know what tabs are. And while they can be good for the most part, sometimes there are certain websites that you just want to be a desktop app. Um, you want them to have their own directory in your file explorer. You want them to have their own app icon. You want them to be visible in your dock. You just want to click on it like any other app. Now, while Microsoft Edge does offer this feature built in, what if you're using like Google Chrome or Safari? Well, Web Catalog seems to be the best app that's able to do this. Web Catalog is available on Intel Macs, Apple Silicon Macs, Windows PCs, and Linux computers. In this video, I will go through what Web Catalog can do, some settings that you may need to modify, and what the Pro version has that the free version doesn't. Alright, let's begin. So I've put the link in the description to download Web Catalog, and once you've downloaded it, installed it, run the setup, then you should be met with this. This is Web Catalog's Web Catalog, and it has a bunch of the most popular websites that you may want to install on your computer. So with just one click of the install button, it'll save to your PC, and you can run it. Great! But if the website that you want isn't listed there, you can always click Add New App and enter in the URL that you want. And for custom apps, there's also an option to add your own app icon. Pretty cool. Now moving down into the Spaces tab. Now, Spaces is Web Catalog's version of tab groups. So let's say I want one space dedicated to all things work-related. So I add a workspace, it installs one app on my computer, I open it up, and I add a bunch of different websites in the sidebar that are all related to work. And with one click, I can instantly move to another website inside of that app. I like that feature a lot. Very productivity focused. And then one more down to the install tab. Very simple. Um, it's just every web catalog app that you have installed. And you can also edit some of the apps that you have installed from this section. Now, just some of the things that web catalog has in every app are a back and forward button, um, a reload button, a home page button, the ability to hide the title bar and add the navigation bar. So you're not really missing on much browser functionality. But with that said, here are the few things that you should change. So the first thing is that you should change the download location of the app in the main web catalog settings page. So change it from the web catalog apps folder to your main applications folder. Now inside every web catalog app that you have installed, click on the name of the app in the menu bar, um, click on preferences, and then First of all, change the account name to the name of your app. If you have modified your download location, go to the Downloads tab and change your download location. And you may want to authorize location access, access to the camera, and access to the microphone for a specific app. And then probably the most important thing, change the user agent. Web Catalog has a pretty outdated user agent, which means that websites will look a little bit old. So to get the most up-to-date version of the website, I've put a link down in the description which shows you the latest user agents for a specific browser. So go to whatever browser you want, copy the user agent, and then um, go to the um, user agent string section in the developers tab. Just paste the user agent and that's it. Now these are some things that the pro version has that the free version doesn't. So you get unlimited apps and spaces, unlimited accounts per app, unlimited accounts and services per space. You have the ability to block ads and trackers, the ability to lock the app with a password or touch ID, and you get advanced features. But with the starter, the free version, you get only 10 apps or spaces, two accounts per app, two accounts or services per space, and basic features. But for most people, the starter should be just fine. So if you just stick to using your apps in the web browser, I highly suggest you try out Web Catalog because it will improve your life drastically, trust me. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment what you thought of this, and I will see you in the next